I'm a no fear me. Why did this happen? Yeah, stupid shit. Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, in today's vlog, we're going to talk about censorship and all the joys that come with it. Now, if you haven't noticed, I was being incredibly sarcastic because censorship is shit. Now, those of you who have no idea why I'm hating on censorship all of a sudden, you might be surprised to hear that it's not because I am a game developer and it's not because I'm an artist. No, no, no. It's because of YouTube. Okay, so here's the deal. So a lot of YouTubers lately have been having their pages tagged or flagged to be inappropriate for advertisement. So am I a big believer in the fact that censorship is a piece of shit? Yes, I am. Why am I swearing so much? Because you can't censor this, can you? Okay, that's not funny. So what has been going on over the last couple of weeks is essentially this. Many prominent YouTubers and even lesser YouTubers have been having videos shut down for monetization due to a weird guideline reason stating that they were inappropriate for advertising. Now allow me to explain to you some of the things considered inappropriate for advertising content. Ha Apparently content that is considered not advertisement friendly includes, but is not limited to, sexually suggestive content, including partial nudity and sexual humor. Violence, including displays of serious injury and events related to violent extremism. Inappropriate language, including harassment, swearing, and vulgar language. Promotion of drugs and regulated substances, including selling, use, and abuse of such terms. Controversial or sensitive subjects and events, including subjects related to war, political conflicts, natural disasters, and tragedies, even if graphic imagery is not shown. Now that's the one I have a problem with. And why is that? Because essentially what YouTube is telling people is that they're not even allowed to talk about current events happening because what, we're not allowed to have a stance on the subject? We're not allowed to create content that people would like to see, to see if maybe they can get a fresh opinion on some ideas, especially related to things like, let's say war or political conflicts. Like what the hell is this shit? Oops, guess I can't get advertising on this video anymore, can I? Well, fuck it. Now that I messed that up, I might as well just go all out, right? So I don't know what the fuck YouTube is thinking because clearly they're fucking off the rocker if they fucking think that, okay, no, I'll stop here, I'm just kidding. Essentially what YouTube is saying is that, no, we're not going to allow you to, to film these videos because we don't think that you should be talking about these things. But what that does is it removes the right of free speech that we have and that we exercise every day. And YouTube has traditionally been a platform that allows us to talk about all the things we wanna talk about, whether it be friggin' games or political happenstance or what's going on in war. Some people have documentaries put up and made for YouTube that talk about current issues in the world. You can't just stop people from being able to talk about this stuff because it needs to be talked about. Which then begs the question, who is paying off YouTube? Okay, fine, it might be a little extreme, but I mean, is it really? Because what do we know, really? I mean, all of a sudden, YouTube decides that these guidelines that have apparently been around for a really long time are suddenly gonna be enforced. Like, this just doesn't make sense to me. Like, you're not even allowed to talk about natural disasters. Like, there was an earthquake in Italy, and I may have family you know, that might have gone through some trouble at being Italian, because I do have a lot of family that lives in Rome, and now all of a sudden I'm not even allowed to talk about it on cam for you guys, and then get advertisement for it if it's a video that I'm making for my weekly vlog. Like, even if it's a little blurb in my weekly vlog, like what, I'm not allowed to say anything about it. Essentially what YouTube is doing is they're trying to muffle the voices of their content creators. That's not okay, because what happens when the connection between YouTube and content creators gets cut? People won't want to create content anymore. At least not for YouTube. <laughs> Another thing that makes me laugh is sexually suggestive humor. 
Like, I can't believe that's a thing that can have your video demonetized. Like, that's just completely mind-blowing to me. Essentially, what you're saying is we're not allowed to joke about anything. We're not allowed to talk about anything. So what's left for us to do? I just want to put this into context of my main channel, which, you know, is Too Much Sugar Films. I, I, I don't, I'm trying to, 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 to understand now all the jokes that technically we're not allowed to make anymore. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to monetize on our videos. And I'm not talking about the present because currently we don't monetize, but that's fine. I'm talking about the future. Down the road, what's going to happen when we're no longer allowed to make jokes or like crude, use crude humor, or like, you know, just talk about something that's happening with booby streamers. Like, we're just not allowed to talk about booby streamers anymore. We're not allowed to talk about, you know, the girl who accidentally revealed herself on camera during a Twitch stream and she was still online, she forgot she was online. Like, you get the point I'm trying to make here. We're having our vocal cords sliced apart by YouTube and they're basically telling us, no, no, you've got to go through all these filters when you make your videos and when you edit your videos to try and just control your content. But here's the thing. A lot of the content on YouTube that people like is funny. Now, humor can take very many different paths. A lot of the time, humor is sexual in nature or can be about current events. This is usually effective humor. Now, for example, I obviously, I feel terrible for what happened in Alberta, but it, it, a perfect example is somebody who could make a, I don't know, like a Charmander joke with Pokemon Go, like a burnt down forest, and then just have a little sign that says Fort McMurray or something. I'm not a terrible person. It's just, it's a joke that somebody could make. I'm just saying it's out there and it can be made. But for YouTube to say something along the lines of, no, you're not allowed to monetize your video because you made a joke in bad taste is kind of stupid. I mean, I don't know if it's pressure from the advertisers that's making this happen or if it's YouTube itself that's decided, oh, you know what? We don't want to pay these guys as much as we pay them. So let's just find any fucking excuse we can not to do so. Either way, it's not okay. And unless we want YouTube to become a place where essentially the only videos you'll find are let's plays and prank videos, we need to start doing something about it. And I think that if the great majority of YouTubers tries to kind of speak out and get to YouTube, something might happen. You never know, right? Power of the people and all that. Um, I guess it remains to be seen. Oh well, in more lighthearted news, uh, we have gotten a whole bunch of sound equipment that we're going to be using in our Too Much Sugar Films videos from now on. So the article videos, the last week in gaming videos that we do every Monday from now on are now going to sound amazing. And we've got the amazing support from She Geeks, um, whom are the most amazing people ever. Well, yeah, ever, anyway. They're, they're really awesome guys. And uh, Luca and Giancarlo, uh, the co-owners of the store, uh, allowed us to make that our new filming location. So you're gonna see the ambiance of a card and board game shop uh, at midday from now on when we're filming. Uh, should be a really interesting ambiance. And we are super excited to be putting like the finishing touches on our new content for you guys. And we just can't wait to get more awesome last week in gaming content to you so that you are up to date on last week's gaming. Ha, <laughs> the irony of that is ridiculous. So that'll be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like down below. Don't forget to subscribe and go check out Too Much Sugar Films so that you guys can uh, obviously subscribe there because that's where all the awesome stuff happens, right? Peace out, YouTube.